Marker. Here we go. Three, two, one. Season three is more of a spectacle. There's more action, more special effects. The stunts are amazing. It's been fun and so wild. John Kuyama and his guys put together really fantastic fights. I was already a fan of the show. They sent the scripts over and I was blown away. So loaded with action, but also just the insaneness of the stuff we do on this show is unlike anything else. <gasps> John is special because he really takes time to teach the actors how to do a stunt. I got to fight with dildo. <laughs> I haven't done a dildo fight before. You know, that's been amazing. I'm so happy to be the one that gets to do it all. Karen does such an extraordinary job. She's the most badass character on the show. John just fine tunes everything to our comfort level so that we feel badass, we feel like our characters. We're shooting a confrontation between Butcher and Gunpowder. I've taken more fists from Carl Urban than I would assume anybody yet. He has spun my head around sideways. I can't believe Huey is actually participating in a fight. I get to shove Homelander. I felt good. Everyone comes in really blood, sweat, and tears for this show. Fuck yeah. We had a lot of fun this season. I was like, put me in, coach. <laughs> it is such a huge team effort and collaboration. You're reminded that you're actually making the most bizarre thing in the world. It's pretty fun. I think this is one for the books, man. This is awesome to have that kind of canvas. For someone like me, that's a dream. Boys, season three. Here we go. Back at it. Three, two, one. Watch this shit. Action! Big day, lots to do. Oh, let the games begin. <laughs> In season three, we wanted to show people things that they've never seen on TV before, and frankly, wouldn't be allowed on TV. This trying to get in my ass. This is the craziest shit. Can you please break my arm? <laughs> Fucking hell, Huey. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> the show is a fresh new take on the superhero genre in which superheroes are morally bankrupt. What's this? It's Temp V. One shot makes you a soup for 24 hours. Butcher, Temp V. Butcher's decision to take Temp V gives him a strength to go toe to toe with the other superheroes. But power can make you a really toxic person because even the best people can make bad choices. The fact that Butcher took that first step is huge because it changes the dynamic within the team forever. No one should have that kind of power. For once, I leveled the fucking play field. He has an opportunity there to really settle the score. Is he gonna do something bad to get something good? We share a different destiny. Homelander is coming to a turning point. This is the first moment when he shows the world who he really is. Enough! I'm not just like the rest of you. I am better! Poor dude, he lost the love of his life. So that is part of this spiral downwards, which introduces us to a homelander that we've never seen before. I finally show people the real me. They love me for it. Homelander and Butcher. Evening, cunts! Have a parallel journey in their quest for power. No one can stop me. He is out of control. But it doesn't always work out the way that you think it's going to. Fucking hell. So be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. With great power. <laughs> oh my god. Almost the, the biggest cliche of comic book history went out of my mouth. If you like superheroes covered in blood, this is the show for you. This is wildly messed up. But also it brings more heart and more humor. In the world of the boys, you never know what's gonna happen. Living on the edge, man. Always. <laughs> this is bright shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I think we got it.